Glory Divine World Ministries is a place to call home. Come and allow God to unleash your potential, purpose, and destiny. The way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through Him and through the blood of Jesus. Because of His unconditional love, hallelujah, He sent His only begotten Son, and that is Jesus Christ, to die so He can reconcile Himself to you. to come and be a part of our glory divine family you never choose jesus he chose you welcome to glory divine network tv with your host apostle ryan suknanan let's get ready to listen to the divinely inspired word of god glory to god hallelujah saints of god i pray and i and i believe that you are ready for a blessing this morning you are prayed up you are waiting upon God, trusting God. Hallelujah. Amen. This beautiful, beautiful spring Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Number nine, it's birthing season. Glory to God. Amen. I prophesy this morning. Uh, I trust God. Hallelujah. That whatever you're trusting God shall birth in this month. Before this month is over, something great is going to happen. There will be some conclusion taking place, some deal sign, hallelujah, prayers answered, glory to God, glory to God. Those that are trusting for a fruit of the womb, you are married, I pray before this month is over, something is going to happen, hallelujah, glory to God. We serve an awesome God, hallelujah, amen. He is still on the throne, He loves us unconditionally. His mercy, His grace, hallelujah, is available for you. No matter how much you messed up, hallelujah, Jesus loves you. He wants to restore you. And we are going to enjoy ourselves, praise ourselves, worship ourselves, bless this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to welcome everybody that is coming online right now. Amen. I'm holding the phone and you are there. There's a point of contact. The anointing is going to flow. Hallelujah. It's going to come upon you. Come into your house. Amen. The joy will come. Flood your home. Hallelujah. Prayers will be answered. And I believe today we are trusting God for a miracle. I have a powerful word for you. Building your life on a secure foundation. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter how much people can prophesy on you, declare and decree, if you don't make choices, if you don't make decisions, if the Word of God don't conform, uh, convict you and conform and transform you, hallelujah, amen, your life will never change. So let us hear, amen, what the constitution of the heaven, the Bible tells us, and I believe that the Holy Spirit will empower you, anoint you, amen, and redirect your step so your story can change. Amen. Let's put our hands up. Let's reverence God. Let's open in prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I come to you in the mighty, matchless, awesome name of Jesus Christ. I pray and I come with every child that is watching, those that are going to watch your God, into your hands. And I pray, O oh God, for a supernatural touch this morning. I pray that you will anoint us Hallelujah, because you have already appointed us. Lord, I pray that you will redirect our steps so that we can walk on the path of provision. We can walk, hallelujah, on the path of our destiny because I know purpose, hallelujah, provision is found on the road of purpose. I pray if we failed and faulted, forgive us, O God. Let your mercy wash us. Let your blood cleanse us this morning in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Come and take preeminence this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray our ears are attentive. Our hearts are receptive to hear your word. Speak a rhema word to us. Instruct us this morning. Guide us. Lead us. Teach us, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this be a season of breakthrough. Number nine represents birthing, O oh God. Let this month be a month of birthing, O oh God. Everything that we have been trusting for, let it come to pass. Let there be a conclusion anointing. Those that are being, those things that are delayed, those things that are on hold, those things, hallelujah, on pause, let it come to pass. Let there be a conclusion this month 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus over us, over this medium wave, over this airwaves, in the name of Jesus. Lord, be with us. Speak to us as we go into a worship of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Saints of God, lift, lift up your hands and just for three minutes, let's worship God. Let's prepare our hearts to receive what the Lord has to say to us. And let me tell you, let me remind you, hallelujah, that this word that you're going to listen is from the heart of God. It will radically transform your life and your situation. So share this message quickly. The more you share, amen, you are evangelizing for Christ. You are witnessing for Christ. Somebody out some way there will be touched by this message. Amen. And the reward will come to you. Write your comments down. Write your prayer requests down. I will lay hands and I will pray. Let's trust God for a miracle. God is still a miracle working God in Jesus name. Amen. Let's put our hands of God. My sons and daughters of Glory Divine World Ministries, all those that have joined us for over one and a half years, you have been watching online, you have become part and parcel of family. All those that subscribe to my daily prayer and my soul food, you have become part and parcel of our family. All those that partner with Glory Divine World Ministries, Hallelujah, financially, amen, for the gospel to reach the world. I pray, hallelujah, a hundredfold blessing upon you. May the Lord open the heavens right now, hallelujah. May your hands never see lack in Jesus' name. Glory to God, glory to God, amen. You are, hallelujah, chosen and appointed by God Amen. You are wonderfully and beautifully and marvelously created. You are the handiwork of God. Hallelujah. God, amen, looks at you. He takes glory out of you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And today, God has chosen you to speak to you. Say, Lord, speak to me. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, speak to me. Amen. What I'm going to speak to you, church, is... So vitally important. This morning, I woke up this morning, early morning, church, saints of God, hallelujah, let me speak to you. Early morning, I woke up and I was asking God, God, what must I write? What must I write for your children? Hallelujah. For two years now, I have not missed a single day. Hallelujah on sending out my soul food. And my soul food is like two pages long. I always tell the people, hallelujah, don't mind the length of my soul food because it is downloaded from heaven. I don't copy and paste. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I don't copy and paste. Hallelujah. What I do for God, I do it from the depths of my heart. Hallelujah. Yes, I do research. Amen. I do. All of us must do research. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I wait on God and God gives me a subject to attend to. God always gives me something that he wants to speak to his children. And every morning when I send my soul food is a now, now word for the now season. Hallelujah. So I, I woke up this morning. Hallelujah. And I'm asking God, God. What must I feed your children? For 365 days last year, I gave them a fresh word. Hallelujah. Every day. Now we are in August, in September, and I've given from January to now a fresh word every day, Lord. Lord, you got to download a message. Because if you don't download the message, where must I get freshness from? Hallelujah. And the Lord said to me, Deal with the enemies within. Hallelujah. It is not the enemies that is outside that is so dangerous. Hallelujah. It is the enemy inside your soul. Glory to God. And that is why I wrote on conquering the enemy within this morning. Hallelujah. There are some things in the crevices of your soul. Hallelujah. Is holding you from prosperity. There are some things in your soul is holding you from walking in purpose and destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't deal with the enemy within, write it down. 
If you don't deal with the enemy within, the enemy within will deal with you and destruct you. Glory to God. Glory to God. And today the word of God is going to speak to you. Hallelujah. I am not addressing the title, The Enemy Within. I addressed it in my soul food. If you're not subscribing to me, my cell phone number is there. Subscribe to me and I'll send it to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to deal with something, hallelujah, that is going to stop the enemy from coming within. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because if you deal with the enemy within, your hate, your envy, your jealousy, your pride, hallelujah, your victim mentality, amen, everything that is inside, hallelujah, automatically the outside enemies will become at peace with you because you are changing from inside. Right there, every issue is a soul issue. Hallelujah. That is why 3 John 2 says, As your soul prosper, you shall prosper. God will not bless you with a million rand if you have a thousand rand mentality. Hallelujah. Your mind is part of your soul. Your thinking originates from your soul. Your decision originates from your soul. Your choices originate from your soul. Hallelujah. So you need the word of God to wash and spring clean your soul. Your spirit is born again. Write it there. Hallelujah. My spirit is born again. My spirit is born again, but my soul is not born again. My soul is my responsibility. Hallelujah. Which is your emotions intellect and will. How many of you always hear, my feelings are hurt? Hallelujah. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. If you are continuously and easily hurt, hallelujah, wounded, hallelujah, amen, you have a soul, you have a, you have a sick soul. There is something inside your soul that is causing you to become emotional. And if you become emotional, you will not keep a job. You will not stay in a church. You will not be submissive, submissive to leadership. You will not be teachable. You will not take discipline. You will not take correction. You will get offended. You will become defensive if somebody compliments you also. You will find hidden meaning in it because you, your soul is sick. And John, second, second John says, 3 John 2 says, as your soul prosper, you will prosper. Hallelujah. God will not send resources to somebody who does not have the character to handle it. That is why God always builds. God always prepares. The Bible says that a, 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 a person gave talents to three people. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, take care of it. Invested. But the Bible also said it gave them according to their ability. This is not my message, but this is my foundation. Hallelujah. I'm getting to my message now. This is what God is speaking to you. Gave them according to their ability. Hallelujah. Amen. So if your ability is to handle 1,000, you'll get 1,000. If your ability is to handle a million rand, it will come to you. If your ability is to handle a billion rand, it shall come to you. Hallelujah. The talent was given to him according to his ability, but the choice was a sole issue. Hallelujah. What will they do with that 1,000 rand talent? I'm taking for an example. Hallelujah. One went and two went and multiplied and doubled it. One went and hid it. Hallelujah. What is God talking to you? What is God talking to you? God will give you resources according to your ability. But the condition of your soul, hallelujah, will either multiply that or whatever is given to you will be taken away. Because the Bible says the one who hid it, one, the one who hid it was the talent was taken away and given to somebody who invested it. God gives according to your ability, but it is your sole choice to increase that ability. Hallelujah. So your capacity, listen to me. So your capacity to receive increases. 
Hallelujah. It's a soul choice. And your thinking originates from your soul. What is in your soul, which is your emotions, intellect, and will. You might not understand what I said. Later on, listen to this. Hallelujah. Live transmission again. And it will sink in you. Now let me get to my message today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Building your house on solid ground. Part two. Hallelujah. Amen. Building your house. Even to build your house. <coughs> is a soul decision. When I refer to build your house. I'm referring into a, a, a general term. It uh, can represent your body. Represent your life. Represent your career. Represent your business. Represent your future goal. It can represent your family. It can represent your finances. It can represent everything to do with you and your family. It can represent your spiritual life. It can represent your material life. Everything building your house. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Matthew 7 verse 24 to 29. New King James Version. Therefore, listen to me church. Whenever there's a therefore, Matthew 7 verse 24, whenever there is a therefore, it means previously, pretext to this text, something was addressed. Hallelujah. Now that is not my message. I'm not going there. I don't have the time. I want to get direct into the message that the Lord has laid in my heart today. And the Lord is speaking to you. Say the Lord is speaking to me. Tell your neighbor the Lord is speaking to you. Because this ninth month, is birthing month. It's decision month. It's choice making month. Glory to God. Before end of December, I prophesy your life will change. Before end of December, hallelujah. If you practice what today the Lord is speaking, you will walk into your job. You'll get that business turn around. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible. Glory to God. Glory to God. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can listen to a thousand sermon. Listening will not change you. But doing will change you. The enemy doesn't mind you listening. You can skip now and go to 10 online sermon. He doesn't mind it. But when he minds it and stops and opposes you is when you make a soul choice. Hallelujah, that I am going to listen and I'm going to be a doer. And today I'm making some decisions to act on the word of God. There he opposes you because he knows God is going to bless you. The word of God is going to work. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man. Say, I'm a wise man, I'm a wise woman who built his house on the rock and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock. Glory to God, glory to God. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, I pray I'm not talking to anybody of that category, hallelujah, will be like a foolish man because nobody is foolish here. Who built his house under sand and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall. And so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as a scribe. Building your house on a secure foundation. Hallelujah. Every person, I went into a couple of details last week on this message. Hallelujah. Amen. And I don't have the time to repeat it. It's on my Facebook. It's on YouTube. You can watch it. Every person's house is attacked 24 hours. Hallelujah. By the enemy. You cannot stop the enemy from doing his job in this world. That's his job. And he is going to continue doing his job. He's going to continue attacking Christians. Hallelujah. You can cannot stop him from carrying out his business. Hallelujah. In this world. But you can stop him from carrying out his business 
on you, your family, your possession. God has given you the authority. Hallelujah. Your finances, your health. Hallelujah. You can put a stop to him. Glory to God. You know, the saying goes, the saying goes, hallelujah. You cannot stop a bird from flying over your head. But you can stop the bird from building a nest on your head. Hallelujah. Glory to God. John 10, 10 is the mission statement of the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As long as he is on this earth, that's his mission statement. Praise the Lord that we have Jesus. Hallelujah. John 10, 10, the Bible says, The thief does not accept come, hallelujah, to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus says, I have come. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, I have come. Hallelujah. That they may have life. You may have life. That, hallelujah. Amen. And have it more abundantly. Another translation say, over increasing life. Glory to God. Glory to God. First Peter 5, 8. There's still... The mission statement of the enemy, glory to God, that attacks you 24 hours. Christians are under attack 24 hours. We are in a war zone, but we are the winners. We are more than conquerors. Jesus conquered for us. We take on that victory. Hallelujah. First Peter 5, 8, the Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. His eye is on you right now. His eye is on your family right now. His eye is on your job right now. His eye is on your car right now. His eye is on your children right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But thank God. He says, hallelujah, that I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. And, and the abundant life, hallelujah, includes safety, includes protection, includes blessing includes health, includes wealth. Hallelujah. Say, I am 24 hour protected by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. He can eye me out. Hallelujah. He can eye me out. His eyeballs can come out. Hallelujah. But he cannot have me. Hallelujah. Because I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you say he can eye me out until his eyeballs come out? But he cannot have me because I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm married to Jesus. I am the bride of Jesus. Jesus is my bridegroom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. He can yell us. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever he can do. Amen. But he cannot have me. Glory to God. I cannot stop him. I me out. But I can stop him. Hallelujah. From coming into my territory. From coming and touching me. Amen. Because I am being touched by the Lord. Hallelujah. I belong to the Lord. Building your house on secure ground. Building your house. Last week, I emphasized, hallelujah, that it does not matter whose house it is. Hallelujah. The size of the house. Who is living in the house? The attack will come. Hallelujah. The enemy will try to stop you to turn your house into a home. Write it there. The enemy will try to stop me from to turn my house into a home. But my house is no more a house. It's not only building. My house is a home where peace prevails. Hallelujah. Where the love of God is. Where the presence of God is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Where the prosperity of God resides. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands wherever you are. And say, I'm not living in a house. I'm living in a home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 24 verse 3. Proverbs 24 verse 3. Through wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. Hallelujah. I said last week, any animal will find a house for itself. Hallelujah. For safety. On a tree, in a ground, on the mountaintop, in caves. Hallelujah. Amen. But to build a home, it takes effort. Write it down. To build a home, it takes effort. It takes discipline. It takes, hallelujah, sacrifice. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 33. In Proverbs 3, verse 33, the Bible says, 
The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked. Listen to me carefully. No, don't bail out on me. Don't put your cell phone off now. Hallelujah. Because this word that I'm talking about is no hype word. Hallelujah. Amen. It never fall from a purple tree. It came down from heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. And it will radically change your life, transform your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, have get, I am getting testimonies from all over the world how the Word of God is transforming situations and lives. You are next in line for a miracle. Glory to God. Proverbs 3 verse 33, the Bible says, The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but He blesses the home of the just. I like the New King James Version. It doesn't talk about house. Hallelujah. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked because the house of the wicked is a house. Hallelujah. Because you cannot have the presence of God where wickedness dwells. But then further, hallelujah, the scripture says, but he blesses the home of the just. The just has a home. The righteous has a home. The godly has a home. The wicked has a house. As a building where he comes and sleeps and plans his wickedness. The just has a home where they come and rest. Hallelujah. Amen. And praise God and experiences. Hallelujah. And enjoys the benefit. Hallelujah. Of an awesome God. Glory to God. Glory. I love the King James, New King James Version. Jesus wants us to erase false expectation. Write it down. Glory to God. Glory to God. I get excited preaching sometime. Hallelujah. Amen. As the Lord deposits stuff in my, in my spirit, I get excited that an awesome God chooses me as his vessel. And today God is choosing you as a vessel. Hallelujah. Jesus wants us to erase false expectation that there will be no storms in your life. If some preacher... That has told you that there was going to be no storm. He's a liar and a deceiver. Hallelujah. If some preacher told you everything is going to be all right all your life. He's a liar and a deceiver. If some preacher says you're going to be blessed and you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. And the Lord is going to bless you without saying that your foundation needs to be strong to maintain the blessing. And multiply the blessing. The preacher is a liar. Hallelujah. Quote me wherever you go. Because what I'm speaking to you is from the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus talks about two houses here. Hallelujah. One built on a rock. And one built on a sand. Ask your neighbor. What is the foundation of your house? What is your house built on? Is it sand or is it rock? The storm, point your finger at your neighbor and say, the storm is going to test the foundation of your house. Especially now, year, one and a half years, we are going through a storm that is testing pastors, testing leaders, testing Christians, testing their faith. Even testing the foundation of the belief system. Hallelujah. And how many are falling? How many foundations are being destroyed? You don't hear of them anymore. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands right now and say, Heavenly Father, if I have been building on the sand, forgive me. Thank you for today for giving me another chance to build on the rock. Because storms are surely going to come. But yes, the storm can huff and bluff. Hallelujah. But will not blow my foundation down. Because my foundation is on the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what does Jesus want to teach us? If Jesus was preaching this morning, hallelujah, he will tell you build on the rock a sure foundation. Hallelujah. Don't build on the sand a slippery foundation. Yes, the world can offer you a lot of things, a quick rich scheme. Hallelujah. Come and partake of this wickedness. Do this, do that. And it might prosper for a time. The psalmist says, hallelujah, the wicked is like grass 
Today they are here and tomorrow they are blown and put onto the fire. I looked for them and I searched for them and I couldn't find them anymore. Do not focus your eyes on the wealth of the wicked. Do not focus your eyes on the prosperity of the wicked. Yes, they might prosper for a season. But if you hold on and build, keep on building, keep on building. You are sidestepped, keep on building. You are abandoned, keep on building. You are refused, keep on building. The wicked prosperous, keep on building. You are bypassed for promotion, keep on building. You don't get an increase, keep on building. You don't get that position, keep on building. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you your reward will surely come. And those that were in front of your eyes through wickedness promoted, they shall fall and they shall go down like Humpty and Dumpty and nothing shall be able to put them together again. Keep on building. Keep on building. Keep on building. Tell to your neighbor, turn to them, give them a high five and say, keep on building. Keep on building. Keep on building on the rock. Hallelujah. 30 years I'm building on the rock. 30 years I'm building on the rock. And every year God blesses me in the name of Jesus. You are next in line for your blessing. One is built on something that does not shake. Hallelujah. The rock. Hallelujah. The rock. You know, recently we had an earthquake in Joburg. And I was in my prayer time that time. It was like three in the morning. I was in my prayer time. And the whole building shook. I felt the vibration. Let me not say shook. I felt the vibration of the building, the foundation and everything. But the house was still in one piece. No cracks, no nothing, because it's built on a solid, strong foundation. Hallelujah. Many times the enemy came and hit me with their best shot. I felt the vibration. Hallelujah. I felt the vibration. There are many times that the enemy gave me the best and the best blows. Hallelujah. Sometime maybe. Hallelujah. I, 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 I bowed a little, but I did not break because my foundation was strong. Meaning when I bow, maybe my emotions got me a bit. We are all humans. Hallelujah. Just like the psalmist this morning, Psalms 42 verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, O soul, why are you bequited in me? Why are you? Hallelujah. Inside of me be quieted. Yet will I praise you. Be quieted means worried, sad. Hallelujah. Amen. But he turned around and said, yet will I praise you. Yet will I trust you. Yet my confidence is in you because of your countenance. Hallelujah. Yes, as human beings for momentary, we might go into a state of concern. Hallelujah. But a child of God whose, 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 whose foundation is on the rock never remains despondent or depressed. Hallelujah. Amen. They quickly turn and focus back unto God. The psalmist said, soul, why are you bequited in me in Psalm 42? Hallelujah. And then he turns around and says, yet will I praise you. Yet will I praise you because my trust is in you. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, the enemy will blow. You'll feel the vibration. Hallelujah. But your foundation is strong. You will not shake. You will not break. You will not be destroyed. You will keep on standing. Hallelujah. You might be knocked down at times. Hallelujah. But you will never be knocked out. You will still be in the ring. Hallelujah. God will still strengthen you. God will still bless you. God will still prosper you. Ask your neighbor, how is your foundation? How is your foundation? Hallelujah. If you are building, so the two foundation is the rock and the sand. One is built on something that does not shake. And the other is built on something that does shake. Remember, if anything shakes and keep on shaking, hallelujah, one day it's going to break. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of the guys are shaking it so much on weekends. 
Hallelujah. They don't even know. Amen. The foundation is loose. And one day it's going to come and haunt them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shake for the Lord. Tell your neighbor, shake for the Lord. Come on. No, never, never ever be shameful to shake for the Lord. Hallelujah. When the church is opening and soon it's going to open, I'm going to shake for the Lord. I'm going to dance. Hallelujah. I'm going to rejoice. The enemy thought that they can close the gathering place. Ah, he's got something. Hallelujah. That is coming in the name of Jesus. We're going to praise him. We're going to worship him. We're going to dance. We're going to have a celebration. Hallelujah. We are. Hallelujah. Those that praise the Lord in spite of the situation because our foundation is strong and I'm a good jiver. Hallelujah. I do break dance sometime when I get excited. My congregation knows me. I dance like David. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Our dancing season is coming right there. Our dancing season is coming. Darkness shall be turned to light. Weeping shall be turned to joy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. So one built on something that can shake. One built on something that cannot shake. If you are building your life on the wrong foundation, it's going to crumble. Hallelujah. Take it from a prophet. Take it from an apostle. Hallelujah. In my 30 years of ministry, I've seen a whole lot of people that hallelujah felt they can do it their own way. But let me tell you, there's a real devil out there has a mission statement to steal, kill, rob and destroy. He is there seeking you out. He is checking you out and waiting for a weak moment to pounce on you. But thank God, those that choose, hallelujah, to build on a strong foundation, they can eye you out and eye you out, but they cannot touch you because you are covered by the blood of Jesus, protected by the Holy Spirit and angels are guarding you. Glory to God. Psalms 127. Hallelujah. Psalms 127 verse 1. And I'm closing. Hallelujah. I don't want to preach too long. I'm going to close it. Uh, part 3 will be. Uh, watch the space for part 3. Next week. Hallelujah. This is meat. This is solid meat. Tell your neighbor. Apostle Ryan preaches solid meat. Hallelujah. Solid meat. That can transform my life. Transform my family. Transform, transform that drug addict. Transform that gangster. Transform that alcoholic. Whoever you are, the word of God can transform you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to close with this. Psalms 127 verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house. Unless the Lord builds the house. Is the Lord the builder of your house. I'm meaning your home, your life. Hallelujah. Say my house, write it down. My house represents my home and my life. My house represents my home, my family, my future, my health, everything pertaining to me. Hallelujah. And my generations to come. Remember, you're a legacy lever. Write it down. I'm a legacy lever. The most spiteful person is a person that lives for the now. Write it there. Hallelujah. The most spiteful person or the most, sorry, in wrong word, the most selfish person is the person that lives for the now. For me, myself and I. For me, myself and I. A child of God is a generation changer. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Hallelujah. God is a generational God and God wants to bless your generation. You are a seed of your generation. You are a seed of your future generation. When you grow 60, are you going to be a burden to your children? When you grow 70, are you going to be a burden to your children? No, God wants you to arise now. Hallelujah. Build your foundation strong. Ah, you must be saying, but I'm 60 years old now. I am 55 years old. I still got a 15 year plan. I still got a 20 year plan for the kingdom of God. I still got a 20 year plan for myself. What needs to be done? Hallelujah. By the will and the grace of God. I'm not saying by my own will. Hallelujah. You're not too old. Say I'm not cold. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not cold yet. 
There's no expiry date written on me. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your forehead in the mirror. Okay, don't leave your phone now. Let you look at it later. Go look at your forehead and see expiry. Hallelujah. 15th April 2030. No, it's not written there. Hallelujah. There's no expiry date on you. Glory to God. Abraham was 100 years and he was not expired. His vitality, his vumba was there to get a child of promise. Hallelujah. Say, I'm still, I still have the vumba. Glory to God. Come on, 60 year old. Come on, 70 year old. Rise up. Tell your neighbor, if there's somebody 70 years old, say, get off the sofa, get off the bed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. Hallelujah. Amen. They shall run and not be tired. They will not be weary. Hallelujah. Rich in the vowdo means the anointing. Glory to God. Glory to God. As a close, Psalms 127, verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Hallelujah. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Glory to God. Glory to God. How many of you are laboring in vain because you are building on the sand? You know, I've got thousands of people on my subscriber list that receives my soul food. And I get three, four hundred messages a day. And I don't talk about my subscribers. I don't talk about anybody that I counsel. It is between me and God and that person and it closes there. I might take a general example and say, right, okay, you know, I prayed for somebody. I prayed for somebody who was going through a certain problem and got touched. Out of five, six thousand people, how will you know who I'm talking about? Because no mention of name. Hallelujah. That is to give glory and testimony to God. Hallelujah. There are so much of people, amen, that is doing so well for a season. And then they write to me after six months. Pastor, apostle, pray for me. I lost my house. I lost my job. I lost my wife. I don't know how you can lose your wife. <laughs> I lost my husband. Maybe you were not searching right. So, and I asked them, but didn't I tell you six months ago what to do? Didn't you come to me and you were blessed and I said you what to do? I said, no, I just, I was so busy. I was so busy. I was so hectic. I was so hectically busy. I stopped going to church. I stopped reading my Bible. That is what the enemy wants. To keep you so busy. To keep you so busy and occupied. That you will lose your focus. Money will become your God. Work will become your God. No. Today, build your house on the solid foundation. Have a balance in your life. You might say, Pastor, it's difficult. Let me tell you, all the difficulty, Jesus took it upon himself. And he said, you are more than a conqueror. Rest in God. Allow God to fight your battles. But you have to make the choice. Revelation 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at your heart's door and knock, and if you open, I will come in. The handle of the door is inside your heart. Jesus can't open it. You've got to open it. And he will come in and give you the peace that passes all human understanding. Hallelujah. I'm serving Jesus for 30 years. I will not trade him for anything. Hallelujah. Every day is a sweeter day with Jesus. Me and my Jesus can handle every battle, every challenges that come my way. And let me tell you, as a minister preaching for 30 years, the storms were just not storms. There were hurricanes and there were tornadoes and there were tsunamis. You name it. Hallelujah. Eurocloden hit me. But me and my Jesus, we faced every battle. And today, as an apostle of God, I earnestly plead that you are going to face your storm. If you didn't face it, you're going to face it. Hallelujah. 
Build right. Make your decision this morning that Jesus will be the foundation. And you will start from today opening your Bible, praying, praising, worshiping, joining a word-based church. Don't run from conference to conference. You can learn a thousand sermons, listen to a thousand sermons. But if you don't make the choice to apply the word, the word will never transform you. So today, my earnest plea to you is you are a nation changer. You are a history maker. You are a legacy lever. You are a generation builder. That's who you are. And God is counting on you. Let's lift up our hands in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for you. Heavenly Father, I come to you in that mighty matchless name, Jesus Christ. Every person that is online right now, over 100 that is online right now, hallelujah, amen. And those that are going to watch, glory to God. Praise the Lord. I pray, Lord, that you touch them. I pray as they make the decision, O oh God, to build on a sure foundation, the rock of ages, which is you, that no storms will be able to destroy them. I pray, number nine, we are in September, a birthing season. I pray supernatural favor upon them, supernatural release, divine intervention, divine acceleration, super speed, that all the prayers will be answered. A conclusion anointing will come upon them, that they will be hearers and not only doers of the word, that they will look unto you, O God, as the author and finisher of their faith, I pray, O oh God, whatever they are waiting for shall come to pass. I pray healing, deliverance, breakthrough, miracles, jobs, business turn around, health turn around, family turn around, O oh God, to come upon them. I pray a new season upon the life. I declare and decree victory and breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. And all God's children say, I receive. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. I know you are blessed. I know you are blessed, and I know you are blessed. Hallelujah. Practice the word. Be a doer of the word, and you will see before this year end, great things are going to happen. Walk in expectation. Lift up your hands as I say grace. May the love of God, may the peace of God, may the blessings of God, May the favor of God, hallelujah, may the forgiveness of God, may the unconditional love of God, may the strength of God, may the anointing of God, may the glory of God, may the protection of God, may the provision of God be upon you till we meet again on Tuesday, 7 o'clock. God richly bless you. Pray for the church. I believe the church is going to open. Church door is going to open soon. God richly bless you. We love you. We leave you. We pray for you. God bless you. We invite you to become a partner in our global ministry which is touching lives and transforming situations all over the world. When you become a partner, you are investing in fertile soil and the Lord will richly reward you with heaven's best. Church banking details are on the screen. And if you'd like to sow a seed of honor, directly deposit it into Dr. Ryan's personal account. For e-wallets, apps like Cash Send, Standard Bank Instant Money or any other instant cash services, kindly use our church WhatsApp number to send the voucher number as well as collection PIN. Because when you sow in good soil, indirectly your money is going to places where you cannot go. When you partner with the Kingdom Vision, God will make sure that your needs are provided for. So sow your seed today.